Like the previous sessions, we need to create our geometry first. Therefore, we double click on the geometry module to open the ANSYS Design Modeler software. Again, we need to create a box. Therefore, we go over Create and then go over Primitives and then select Box. After we created the box, we need to generate a cylinder inside our box. Therefore, we click on the surface selecting command and select the upper surface of our box. After selecting the upper surface of the box, we go over sketching and then draw a circle over this surface so that we can have the cross section of our cylinder. After we drew the circle over the surface of our box, we go over extrude command to generate a cylinder from this circle. After clicking on the extrude command on the low left side of the software window in front of the geometry, simply click on apply button. Also make sure that in front of the operation you've selected a slice material. Now that we have the needed geometry for this part of ANSYS meshing, we can simply close the design motor software. Now double click on the mesh module to open the ANSYS meshing software. Now before creating or exerting any local settings for this geometry, we first click on the generate so that we can have an initial mesh for this geometry and that you can compare this initial mesh with the next meshes that we create. Now as you can see here, the software has created hexahedral mesh cells over our geometry. Since we are going to use the contact sizing option in the next slides, we are going to need to have tetrahedral mesh cells over this body. Therefore, we right-click on the mesh, go over Insert, and then select Method. Now, as you all can probably remember, in front of the geometry, we have to select all the bodies shown in the graph goal window, and then in front of the method, we have to select tetrahedrons. There is a trick here that you can use when you have multiple bodies as for your geometry. You can simply right-click on a blank space in the graphics window and then select All. This trick can be used instead of selecting all the bodies one by one. Now as you can see here, we have tetrahedral mesh cells placed over our geometry. As was mentioned before, now we are going to enable the contact sizing option. You can find this option by right clicking on mesh, going over insert and then clicking on the contact sizing as you can see here. Now when you enable this command, you will see that on the low left side of the software window, it will ask you for a contact region. Now the contact region is a region which is created between two different parts of a geometry. As you can probably remember, in the design motor software, we didn't turn these two parts into one body or a united body. Therefore, a contact surface exists between these two parts, namely the box and the cylinder. In order to select a contact region between these two parts, you can simply click in front of the contact region on the drop down list and select the name contact region which is automatically identified by the meshing software. Now here if I change the meshing viewing option to wireframe you can easily see that the contact region has become selected. Also if you click in front of the element size option you can define the size of the elements you want to put over this contact region. Uh, for example, we enter a smaller value comparing to the element size defined in the global settings. After clicking on generate, even in wireframe viewing, you can easily see that the mesh cells placed over the contact region are obviously smaller than the mesh cells in other places. Also, to have a better view from the interior mesh, we use the section plane command to divide our geometry into two equal parts. We also go over the section plane option and click on the diamond shape icon so that we can have a 3D view of the interior mesh.
As you can see here now, especially the mesels that are placed over the contact region have a smaller size comparing to other mesels that are placed in other regions of our geometry.